welcome back. So, a little update video here. I'm um, getting this nickel strip spot welded on here. I got three three packs done front and back here. Just doing one spot on each one, front and back, just like that. You can see I've got all these cut up. I've got two whole nickel, like the big two pound strips cut up. I'm using this little spot welder here, and I'm also using the K weld. As uh, you know, as that one's getting hot, I'll switch over to this one. But that one cool down. I got a little fan here connected to the 24 volt. That kind of blows in here because these uh, these little rails right here of just solder get kind of warm. Uh, I got the rest of my six gauge bare copper in, so that's going to go in there, something like that. Be one there, one there. I got to figure out a way to straighten this copper. Uh, I got this moved out here. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do, but this ain't going to work. That shelf's not sturdy enough to hold that thing. It's got to be close to 200 pounds. And stick it up here and it just like, this shit was flexing all over the place. And it's just not going to work. So uh, either going to have to build a shelf out of wood. Or I'm going to have to buy a welder. All right, so let's look at this jungle gym in here. It's a beautiful day today. It's Sunday. Doing 880 watts on that one. We're up to 25.9 volts. That one's doing 700 watts. And that one's doing 200 watts. Those are the LG Chem batteries. That's Those two right there are, are what, six kilowatts? A little over six. Six and a half. And then each one of these are a kilowatt. You can see we got pretty good balance here. Yeah, real good balance. And that one's almost 0.1, but that's the only one that gives me a little bit of trouble. But these stay right right in there, the 40 and 30. I really like this charge controller. I like this one. It shows you the, the daily and the total. 30 amps. I'm doing 700. Yeah, so once we get that main power wall built, I'm going to come in here and probably mount everything on that wall back there. I think that'll look a lot better. This is definitely kind of just rigged up. Oh, I've also got another Boston Power pack. I'm gonna build, so I'm gonna add another kilowatt to this. It needs it, cause I'm running that, uh, I'm running a, a mining rig with just one Vega 56. And I've got that Ryzen 9 3900X and it, it pulls 120 watts. So I'd like to have another, I think I'm gonna build another mining rig to use that one. Cause I'm gonna buy another one of those, uh, the new uh, AMD Navi cards when they come out next month. That there, that's my solar power box got these lamps here those are running off solar so come in here at night i got some light be able to see everything and so like i said we're mining in there and about 390 watts i think it's also running no it's not running that that's just so 390 with the lights all right so i had to get some more uh, nickel strip uh, here it is uh 0.15 by eight let's see yeah 2.2 pounds 300 and seven feet it's on sale on amazon for uh, like 63 bucks so pretty cool we're gonna slice it up now it's gonna take a couple days to cut it all up so probably do some at work do some here just kind of until i get it all done but got the key weld out over there two batteries two spm i bet eight batteries so we'll get that going Yeah, so these tips are starting to get a little hot. Okay, so those are those are hot. Oop, now that that's uh, hot, it's cooling down. We're gonna pull the uh, K weld out with the foot switch. K weld goes a little faster with the foot switch. You know, it doesn't have to go through the protocol before it spot welds. And since all these batteries are all in this heading in the same direction, you can kind of lay your nickel strip out there. It's not gonna short out. You know, putting a bunch of pressure, just making sure it makes solid contact so that there's no gap between the strip and the battery. I get the first one, then I make sure that it's, it's lined up. With one battery, you can still kind of, you can spin this thing, see? You can still do all this. So you get the one in the middle, and make sure it's all lined up. As 
So at this point, it's literally just repetition. I use the K-Weld till it gets warm. Now I move on to the red welder. Go to my channel and check out a video I did on it. It's definitely not as robust as the K-Weld, nor is it as fast, but you know, and since these leads are a little thicker and the wire's a little heavier, it takes a little longer to warm up. And all these were uh, cut by hand. And the little nickel strip slides right underneath that washer. Doesn't make any contact with the nut or the bolt. All right, and then we just keep going. It's just repetition, man. Keep going, charge the battery back up. All right, so thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. If you're uh, building a power wall, there might be some helpful information in here. Uh, coming up, I'm gonna do a review of some charge controllers, some cheap ones, and also gonna do a reliable inverter repair job. Remember that one from one of my other videos where I bought a 3000 watt 24 volt inverter for $17 on Amazon. Got it here and it didn't work. Well, I think I figured out what was wrong with it and I'm gonna take you through and repair it. Show you what it's doing now in its broken state and then we'll go and repair it and see if it worked. All right, thanks for watching, see you.